Hello everyone, let's play some Isaac. We have one thing left to do. We're gonna get it done. Unless we roll some horrible... What is this? What is happening? Can I roll any of the original characters at all? Okay, we'll see how far we get. I'm not... Uh, I'm not worried about my streak right now. Help, I'm gonna use this straight away. Because if nothing else, we'll at least get two charges back on this. Um, and having two little ink bows here, shooting twice at multiple enemies, certainly gonna get this room done a little bit quicker, if nothing else. At least we found the item room quickly. I'm looking forward to this. I'm feeling good because I just came back. I just done the uh, daily run, or whatever today is. It's a Friday. I'm um, 37th, at least at the time of uh, playing it, which is no doubt gonna be somewhat downgraded uh, as people played the game. Still, 37th on an Eden run is pretty decent. Incidentally, we're never going to random Eden, so maybe every now and then we should, um, oh, what do we do here? Is it a space bar item? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't mind Pisces. Uh, we'll take that, why not? You know, the, this room paid for itself completely. Very happy with that. I think maybe once in a while we should do Eden runs, but I'm thinking of doing an Eden, oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Completely blank the fact that that, that uh, enemy was there. I was aiming at the spider. Never mind. Yeah, we can't uh, can't lose them all. Uh, we'll probably do an Eden streak or something like that, or maybe uh, streaks of every character in the rotation except for the Lost and the Keeper because they will basically end the streak, no doubt. Um, I mean, you don't really see people doing Lost streaks. You do see some people doing Lost streaks. Don't let me try and pretend that we don't have that sort of thing out there on the wider YouTubers, but those people are considerably better at this game than I am. And um, so, I'm probably gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna move on here. Um, we're gonna want to do every character in turn, maybe. Skip the keep lost, skip the keeper. At least give ourselves some chance of getting the streak going. And if that doesn't really work, because so many, uh, some characters are harder than others, we're gonna do a needle streak, and needle streaks are usually kind of entertaining for hopefully everybody, because you never know what you're going to start with, and that's a cool thing. Of course, Eden would be in that rotation if we were doing it the other way. We get a ball of bandages, we get to leave. Let's do so. Pisces is a pretty good item. I do appreciate the tiers upgrade. Um, it's prob I kind of slightly prefer it over getting um, a damage upgrade, up to a point. You know, there's a, there's a limit, um, there's a diminishing return sort of situation. But early on, especially, and um, when your damage is okay, having a tears upgrade is really helpful because it means that you're way likely to uh, hit the enemy. I think we've had this discussion many times before. I mean, you don't take Eve's Mascara, basically, because the tears downgrade is far too great. And even though the DPS remains the same, people consider it a bad item. So that clearly shows that you know your rate of fire is more important than your damage to a certain extent at least. We do have uh, free access to this key, thanks to being on the basement, but of course we're playing as Lilith and I'm incapable of controlling this character. But I'm going to do one more room so that we have our box of friends of Edward White and going to do the boss, so we'll do the boss rather than the boss trap room with that uh, box of friends charge and then hopefully we get another one soon enough afterwards that we can then do that boss trap room and if we want to, I suppose. Should have looked in it at least. That was a lucky dodge. What, um, oh, how have we already got? Ah, ball of bandages also gets duplicated by box of friends, which I had forgotten. So now we have um, one little extra shot every now and then, but it's also a, uh, a charm shot. So were Monstro even remotely able to get charm? There we go. And if there were anything else for it to attack, then we would at least have a bit more of an advantage right now. I hate these rooms with rocks here. I'm so bad at it. My brain does not apply the rocks to the... Sure, we'll take that. Um, so it doesn't put the rocks on the map properly. Oh, shit. That was not meant to happen. My phone is buzzing. It says, ah. Pentagram is fine. I can't take it. And the reason I can't take it is if it's a space bar item, it could be like Guppy's head or up his paw, it will bounce us onto the spikes and kill us. And we were very lucky that the pentagram didn't do that, but at least we had the extra HP to survive that. Were that going to be the case? And the pentagram is actually a really good item to have taken, so I mean, it was probably foolish to have done what I did anyway. Oh, what are you doing? I guess we look in here and see if we want it. We do want it. Oh. Too busy talking, not actually paying attention. Phone, just. It's only buzzing. You lot can't hear it. No worries. Um, 
but yeah, the pentagram is a great item, so our damage is now pretty good, and our HP is now pretty good. Uh, no, our HP is terrible. Our rate of fire is pretty good, thanks to having picked up Pisces. Um, this uh, faded Polaroid is a very strange trinket. So half the time it disappears me, so <laughs> where, where, where am I? It confuses the enemies, which I'm a fan of. Uh, that's helpful to some extent. There is a curse room we can't get to. So now we want to... Uh, I'd much rather have spirit hearts to help this room. I don't know whether the, <laughs> the box of baller bandages can set these things off. I'm not, I'm not here to find out. We could be using our baller bandages to do more damage, but honestly, with this much HP, it seems like a terrible idea. It will get us through the rooms faster, for sure. But it will probably get us, you know, out of the game faster and we'd have to either consider doing a new episode or uh, going again from this. Can we stop having this? Oh, you fucking dick. I was going to say, can we stop having this Curse of the Blind bullshit? And now look what's happened. Well, now I'm sad. We should go into the shop and see if we can get a spirit heart. We can. We should buy this 7 cent item as well. Uh, it's red candle. That's almost better. In fact... Yeah, I'm going to take it. And the reason I'm going to take it is the soy milk is so bad. But I don't really want to have two... I don't want two incubuses with soy milk. Oh, what are you doing? Remember about the fucking spikes once in a while. Pay attention to the game you're playing. What the hell's the matter with Seriously. At least uh, the red candle certainly helps it. There's only two bosses and this one's the king. So I think we should be okay. So look is not actually being too bad for us right now. I mean the enemies is pinned, so it's obviously very low HP anyway, but at least the HP is noticeably dwindling. Chance it. Could go and buy that other item. Spacebar item though. And if I come back and step on these spikes, I'm just gonna die. And I'm gonna forget about the spikes, so I'm basically asking for trouble in that situation, so I'm not gonna go and buy that. I'm gonna hope for a floor that doesn't have fucking curse of the fucking unknown. Blind. Please. No curse. Okay. We just need to get ourselves out of this minor situation that we got ourselves into. Whereby we have no HP and of course soy milk. Um, preventing us from actually winning this run sensibly. You know what? I probably would have taken soy milk anyway, so it's hard to be too salty about it. I mean, we do have a couple of damage upgrades, which is making soy milk not terrible. But it's also proving the other side of the, uh, you know, the DPS is great, tears up is brilliant sort of argument, whereby tears up too far in exchange for damage is no good at all. It's a very tricky balance. It's not that tricky at all. There's a huge spectrum in which you can balance your uh, uh, tears and your damage, and soy milk is way outside of it, and uh, oh, how did I not take, wow, a uh, full heart from that champion? I don't understand. I got stuck on this poop, and instead of shooting the poop, I mean, check the footage, if it's possible I couldn't. It's uh, kind of a bit of an issue with Lilith here, is that if you get yourself in a completely the wrong position... Please. <laughs> there we go. You can't pilot your Incubus into a position where you can actually get yourself out of it again. So, the candle does block shots, which is helpful. I mean, I should have not used that key. Use that key I did. Oh, fuck. I think... By some fluke of the Isaac gods. I managed in that situation to take damage from his HP. Just have to not get hit. To take damage from the one that was not a champion. But we ain't gonna get a deal with the devil on this floor, that's fine. Do you think that's the secret room next to the curse room? We should check. If it is, that's gonna be super good for us. Ah! Maybe on the other side. I'd like to get into the curse room, maybe we can get some advantage. I took a deal with the devil! What are you doing? Why didn't you remind me why I'm here? Look, it's been a long time since I played Isaac, and for that I somewhat apologise because I've been busy with other things. So I've been keeping up the Hexen series as best as I can, although sometimes I'm just not around to actually publish the videos. I don't want to be here. 
Uh, anyway, let's start again. Just hell with it. If we die again, we die again. Soy milk basically ruined that run, in my opinion. Um, I tried to make red candle work. Well, it didn't. I mean, it works. It, you know, it's not like it wasn't functioning. It's just it wasn't suitable for the situation to which I tried to put it, which was damaged enemies. And honestly, it was just bad luck that we got hit by a homing shot that does full heart damage when we only have a full heart left. And at the same time, it wasn't that bad luck because I kept walking on spikes. <laughs> There's no excuse for just walking on spikes, apart from the fact that I haven't played Isaac for ages. But then if I haven't played Isaac for ages, how did you come 37? In the daily, good question. Uh, more better the judgment. I guess I took a chance that other people didn't, i.e. I played the uh, self-sacrifice room and teleported us to the dark room. <laughs> That's basically it. Manly's boss for us got to the dark room. This is a good time to... Why didn't I go to the uh, item room, you might ask? Uh, well. Well. <laughs> so there. It is enemies quite easy. I'm not even going to use a bomb. Having double rate of fire, which is essentially 2020. Just have 2020 once every four rooms and a range upgrade. Okay. Um, range upgrade. Uh, range upgrade. The 2020 once every four rooms is perfectly okay with me. Maybe I just didn't notice. It seems very much like me. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I'm down with that. These fly items are becoming a little bit. I don't know which one's which. <laughs> that makes sense. Of course it makes sense. Because it's perfectly plain English. But what I mean is... I can't differentiate them. Now that there's so many of them. I'm pretty sure that was... Friend zone? Or just... Oh, you know what? We can get into this, which might be a shop. It may be a... Shop in that... What? What just happened? My brain was just completely incapable of processing that situation. I confused the crap out of me. So we'll take these and then we'll go back to this, which is a library. Now, I want to go to the library, even though we are Lilith. And on the way else, yeah, thinking, ooh, the Empress, the world. We'll take the Joker card straight away, because there's no way we can get a deal with the devil at this stage. Uh, don't hate me, because I'm beautiful. Don't hate me, because I'm beautiful. That makes more sense. I'm down with that. So now, we just don't get hit entire on the entirety of the next floor. We get our deal with the devil naturally, because that didn't count. We've still got 100%. We can't take any red heart damage, we just have to not die. And then if there is red HP, if it drops, we don't take it. We take the deal with the devil. We'll just go straight into that curse room and, you know, forget everything. Just forget the world. Um, we take the deal with the devil, that kills us, because that's what devil deals do when you don't have enough HP. It brings us back as Judas, which means we don't have to contend with the fact that we are Lilith, and we have a huge damage upgrade as a result. Oh my god, please. How am I supposed to attack this enemy in this situation? <laughs> use, the, uh, use the advantage that you have. There is a curse. Oh, there's a secret room, but it's not near the curse room. Very well. The only advantage I have, by the way, is uh, Blue Baby's soul. Got a very lucky game, Mr. Oh, you son of a bitch. I mean, we can get hit and die and come back as Judas uh, before the deal with the devil. It's just way less ideal. In fact, it's completely non-ideal. So don't, if you can help. Why are we getting so many chests all of a sudden? No idea. Not really down with it. We don't have Guppy's tail or anything. I don't think we have Cambian Conception as a result of them. Um, nah. Uh, being Lilith. We do take this much damage, which is happening. We will eventually be rewarded with a new familiar. So cool. There's so many spirit uh, tinted drops on this particular floor, and yet we do not have the ability to take advantage of them, by which I mean any bombs, because so many rocks. Rocks are bomb. So many chests have become things instead of the bombs that I would like to. Maybe if we get a key, we should go into the shop first. Yes. Um, and the reason for that is that if we can buy a spirit heart or a bomb, we are much better off. We can buy a bomb. 
Hopefully the other spirit heart is not an arsehole to us. Spirit heart. Tinterdog. I'm conflating spirit hearts and tinterdogs in some sort of vague hope that we can get something out of this situation. So now we basically go to the item room, I guess. No spikes, please. The spikes. Aquarius. What a waste of the key. I mean, Aquarius is okay. But when it was our only key and one of these chests could contain the bomb that gets us a spirit heart and stops us from respawning as Judas when we're not ready to. Oh, this room's actually fine because it has some fire in it. Ha ha ha. I'm happy with that. Now we have a key again. I'm going to keep using these keys. I'm not going to try and save them because there is so many opportunities. Oh, uh, this <laughs> is not fair. I mean, everything that I've gotten from these keys so far has been pretty good. Like the bombs and stuff. I can't complain about the outcome except for the fact that I only really want the spirit heart right now. Just anything to guarantee that we make it as far as the, aim, uh, the devil room without actually having to respawn so that we can you know, take our rightful place as Dark Judas having... Oh, actually, thanks for reminding me. We're not taking Devil Judas. This changes a lot. How else do you accidentally on purpose kill yourself? We should go into the curse room and get out of here. We'll see what it is. It might not actually have... Um, anything in it. Could be a Krampus fight, which would be bad. I mean, we're guaranteed to get into it. Actually, since we're guaranteed to get into it, we definitely want to avoid taking anything and giving ourselves precedent. Precedent? Precedent. Because if we have precedent for angel rooms, every single floor will give us an angel room. What? We can't get precedent for angel rooms. If we don't have precedent for devil rooms, we have that opportunity to get those angel rooms in future. That's a pretty good devil deal, but I'm not going to take it. Um, now, if there is a spirit heart in here, which there isn't. Uh, <laughs> I mean, going into the curse room is going to cost us, which is the problem. But I'm wondering if we have a small moment of invincibility when we try and then respawn. Uh, no, because we spawn in here. Okay. Never mind. I mean, we're going to spend the spirit heart. There's two black hearts in here, which is excellent. So now we've got more HP, and then we're going to come back and take the HP from the boss. So now we are Judas. We don't have Incubus following us around, but we still have Candy and Conception, and of course we've taken a lot of hits. Enough to die as Lilith, which is six? Yeah, six. Which puts us some of the way to getting Cambrian Conceptor to pay out, so we will eventually get a, um, a familiar if we keep on going this way, but it does kind of render our box of friends somewhat useless until we get a, a familiar back, which there are many ways of doing that. Because we have a goat head completely at random. Like, we didn't pay for it, it came out of a, we paid a key for it rather than any HP, which is what you would normally pay. Ah, uh, not necessarily. We didn't, we didn't get the goat head from the devil, basically, which is what I'm trying to say. And the reason that's good is that it means that we... Uh, no keys, okay. Don't have devil precedent, and we could get every single angel room that's available to us uh, on th this run, which is going to give us a great chance of getting crown of light. We only need to get one angel room, really, to get the crown of light. This has to be the one that has the crown of light in it. So the more that we can get, then more likely we find that. Seems like a secret room to me. I'm going to put this here. It could get us into the curse room for free, which would be great. Three cents. I, mean, I was hoping for keys or more bombs. But I appreciate that you are at least giving me some legway on the... Legway? Yeah, legway. On the uh, economy of the game. The game is helping me out to some extent with these things. Man, Parasite is such a good... Good uh, item. Because it, it, the shots come out sideways. Oh, that was a great dodge. So he's back on form. And it's only been like several months of Isaac's slump. But it turns out I can dodge shots again. So that's cool. Uh, we'll fight the boss. 
see if we get our angel rune. See if we get our crown of light and then real plat. No, 1,001%. That would be sweet. Long time coming. Come on, good. Come on, then. There. No, devil. Range up again. He is Krampus, though, so we can take what he gives us. And the flat, I'll take either. Um, because I don't want the space for item that we do have. Oh, he's just... I was halfway through recovering from the dodge of the two shots that he fired at, and then all of a sudden, bloody key. That's very good. Ah, it's very difficult. Right, do we want to go to the curse room? I mean, we have... Yes, we want to go to the curse room. That wasn't the question. That was just what I said. It's a different thing. Uh, read my mind. Do you want to go to the item room or the shop? Yeah, I've got 17 cents. This does make the shop seem sensible. I can't believe I dodged that as well. I'm actually paying some attention, which is outrageous. Uh, probably not going to do that. We know where both the things we want to go to are. We just have to get there. Um, we'll go to the curse room because it's going to be free. We'll go to the shop because we can probably buy a key. If we can't buy a key, then we'll do the other rooms. I'm not really worried about boss rush either this time around. Please. <laughs> I'm taking... I want to... I just want to step through this door. And then, no, there we go. Why couldn't you ever curse the maze me into the curse room for free, huh? Why do you have to make me just work for it? Pandora's box on cage one is an item which we will use. It's money. It's probably useful. It's not that great. It would be nice if Pageant Boy had, like, any stats upgrade associated with it. Uh, there is a... Spirit Heart, which I will buy. But there is no key. I'm going to blow this up and see if we can get cash out of it. Do I want the compass? I'll take the compass. The compass gets more um, praise than I think it deserves. I, it always annoyed me when I got the compass in Zelda as well, and it has the same effect. Like, you can see where the things are, but you can't see how to get there, which basically has ultimately zero help, or zero effectiveness, because <laughs> if you can't see how to get there, it doesn't matter where it is, because it doesn't, there's no association between where it is and which door you should take. Because of the shape of the map, there could be anything. You know, the path to the top left corner could be in the bottom right. Well, we're not going to go to the item room, but we did get a free item anyway. It wasn't that great. But we could just pretend that we got Pageant Boy in the ice cream. We haven't got any bombs, so I can't. Oh, it's very frustrating when your shop got no keys in it. And if, ugh, so few keys have dropped so far. And I know we put a lot of effort into like using those keys when we did have them to try and <laughs> survive for uh, a reason that I later realised was you know, uh, a false, not a false dilemma, it's false principles. I would like a teleportation to the antechamber after the boss. Antichamber? The uh, upgrade chamber? Post chamber. I don't know, what would you call it? It's not. It's a special room, but it could be an angel room. But it's after the boss, and it isn't really on the map. And it's not always there. I mean, it occurs to me I might as well just try and teleport out, right? It's not a daily. That was a little bit of daily tactics there, because I wanted to not open the final chest in case it teleported us out, because I wanted to finish the room, because I wanted the points for it, but I don't want the points for it, so... Okay, I'm actually getting the hang of dodging them things, which is amazing. I'll see where we're going, so yes. Aquarius could end up being really good for us. I'm not sure if it scales with your tears. It implies that it does, because it's, you know... Trail of tears, right? But it doesn't get your tear effects. So it's not really a trail of tears. But maybe it is. Maybe it's a trail of unaffected, like, vanilla tears, right? Vanilla tears. Sounds like a really bad film. Maybe starring, like, a somewhat washed up Tom Cruise trying to reignite his career after the you know, younger generation of well built muscular men have taken him over. He's never going to be an Avenger. So now he's trying to rom-com. doesn't even sound like a rom-com, does it? It just sounds like a romantic tragedy or something. Deeply asinine. Not to, not to suggest that all romantic 
tragedies are asinine films. I mean, you might have to suggest that Romeo and Juliet is a romantic tragedy, and people would be hard pressed to consider that particularly asinine. Well, maybe you won't. I mean, it's entirely up to you how you feel about Shakespeare. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> I was hoping to find a secret room, but there's obviously not one there based on that room, so. Oh, it's so difficult to find. Oh, we've done that. So difficult to find good help these days. Where are my keys, though? At all. Maybe we could gamble for one. Give me a key. Give me a key. Do we have... Is it Judas that suffers from a luck deficit? Oh, yeah, great. That's basically one coin. Although, playing this like this does give us the opportunity for a can-be conception to actually have an effect. I'm going to keep five cents because that's probably going to be the cost of a key. Or a spirit heart or something like that if we can manage to find such a thing. Could be a secret room up there. Oh, help. Hello. Hello. He's home. Oh, shit. I hate the fact that those things go back instead of just dying. Hello. Is Jay saying? You. HP. No. I need keys. I can go to the item room on the last floor. No, we can this is a Lilith one, you can tell by how I'm doing this. Key, right. Uh, shop, maybe? I don't know. Maybe just go to the item room and stop trying to, trying to be cute about it. It's a long way away, so we should probably be right now. DPS. Our DPS is great, and I don't know where it came from. Not just our DPS, but our specifically our rate of fire, which is the thing that I said at the start of the episode that I appreciate so much. And I'm paying enough attention to nearly walk onto a spike, but not actually do so. So that's doing really well. Well, there I go this way. We've got a little bit of speed from our trinket just now. Which is also helpful. Pretty sure it's down here and through here. Aha! Found it. Uh, it's the D fucking six. Taking it. Reroll that. Don't want that. Okay, dead. Okay. Well, let's go and recharge this. It'd be nice if anything would drop. <laughs> the D six is a pretty lucky drop, but we haven't got any way of recharging it. Uh, we'll use this. We're not going to make boss rush because we're at 15 minutes on the case. But the magician is no use. Um, you know, we're trying to get through this. We're just doing the best we can. Taking it one step at a time. Uh, yeah, we'll take Nord Leaf. That's pretty good. And we'll go and recharge it naturally and see if we get a full charge before the boss. And then the boss can give us something we hate. And then we'll reroll that. Maybe we'll get an angel room. We can reroll angel rooms until they become crown of light. If we ever get one. Woohoohoo! You all saw it. Um, interesting. Can't really do anything about that. Or with that. Um, why don't you walk on my Aquarius? Just like my Aquarius. There we go. A key. Very nice. I think we'll keep this key for the next floor's item room because these are so much more valuable all of a sudden than the shop. Ooh, you charged at exactly the wrong time, you asshole. Uh, the shop, which can't really get us very much with the amount of money that we have. And with our apparently abysmal luck stat. What though? It didn't even explode. It just disappeared between. <laughs> I tried to stop shooting, so then I left the room to avoid it. Oh, these things charge at exactly the wrong time. They're super smart. Boss? We're gonna look for the shop. Maybe we found the shop. I don't know. AJ. Oh, you shot me. DPS was fine when we were firing at enemies, but these bosses uh, fasten to themselves. Like a superior type of enemy that no one's ever seen. I should give them a special name. Angel, please. Oh, for crying out loud. And it's really good. Nope, we're here for Crown of Light. Leave. <sighs> Well, at some point, no doubt, oh, this boss fight's really close. This must be a dead end. Yeah, you see, I told you. What's the point in the... In the... Oh, that's actually really good. You can re-roll it as soon as we finish this room. What is the point in the compass if it says the boss fight is right next to you? Anyway? But it works really well with the map. So if you can get the map as well, I'll be happy I picked up the compass. I suppose that's kind of why you pick it up. And it does tell you about... It does not tell you about sleep. <laughs> It also tells you if you want to go into a room, because it will tell you if it's a special room in the first place. There is that. Be 
through all that into bloody lust, which is awesome. Especially in conjunction with the Cambian Conception, because now we're super incentivized to do damage in constructive ways, like on the Blood Bank, if we can find one. Just uh, bait this, bait this. There we go. Yeah, let's do it. Spirit Hearts, please. Guppy's tail is fine, although we don't have any keys, and now we're never going to get any. Okay, okay then. I mean, it's Guppy item, so you have to take it. It's the lot. Oh, we actually have managed to make um, the conception payout. Okay, now. Suck you, Plus, Plus, we took some damage on the curse stream, which means we've got some bloody lust benefit, which means we've sucked you just bouncing around as well. So we're actually going to be pretty strong. Oh, I hate this room with a passion. Dodge, 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 we're fast though. This room has made us fast, and what a perfect time for key. Let me just take the other key. That was a, a way of spending five cents for no reason. But I'd like to go to the item. Ah! Got me. One of these days. Where is our item room? Down there. Uh. Well, that's more damage for me at least. Not at least in the sense of I took more damage. And now of course it's me to do more damage as well, so maybe I'll take less damage as well. So, just in time we have a D6. Uh, what are we on? Necropolis 1 at 19 minutes. Yeah, I may have min-maxed a little bit too hard on this. Whoa! This motherfucker just spawned right next to me. Yo, this room though. I need to fight my shiny metal axe. Okay. Sure. Sure. That's a tiny amount of damage up. Is it? it might not be. Is there red HP on the ground? There is not. I'm not going to do that anymore. We are guaranteed to get our oh, this one. deal with devil slash angel. So it doesn't matter if we take red heart damage by accident. And this is going to give us some more damage bonus for this floor. Then I'm going to have like highway blindness when I go to the next floor. Where the hell is this boss? Through here, I guess. My this is going to be, going to be really good if we can get um, some form of invincibility, especially on the regular. And maybe some actual money. So Guppy's tail is going to be producing these golden chests like they're going out of fashion. Which they are, because gold is way out. It's so tacky. It's all steampunk steel these days. Oh, God. That's smarmy in the middle of the room here. I'm going to put the in. Right off. Let's use them while we can. Should we use a magician, maybe? I don't think we need to. Whoa! Angel. Five minutes! I have not taken a single devil deal, and you are doing this to me. I'm almost tempted to give up, but... Ah, uh, it's guppy item. Take it. No, I need to get Crown of Light. That means I need angel rooms. I haven't had a single one after that many floors. It's unbelievable, Jeff. How many floors have we got left? Not that many. We'll go to this curse room too. Again, with no keys, because now we have Guppy's tail. Please. I didn't take something by accident, did I? Be able to get into there unless he randomly drops his chest, chest or inside his chest, which I can open. It's so rare that I might as well not mention it. Yeah, chest can Maybe I shouldn't have taken Guppy's tail. <laughs> get out of this room. Get to our angel room, maybe. Make it all end. Win the run, move on. Live life. Is there an arcade on this room? Go to that before we go to the boss. So we can, ooh, I got a key. I only just noticed. I was too busy thinking about the boss. Oh, a question mark. Just what I always wanted. I've got. Well, we've got five bombs now, so we can find the secret room. There's a boss trap room, but we can't get into it. Go to the arcade first. We can get into it. And maybe it'll have an advantage for us that doesn't involve spending HP on a devil. Deal. I'd like to be taking less damage as well. <laughs> I've only got half a black heart protecting me. Like, our HP is rubbish. It's only because something is giving me good everything else. I missed. 
completely. So I'm still alive. I mean, you never know, you might just get uh, blood bags straight out of this arcade, which is kind of nice, but at the same time, I'd like to see what's in the boss trap ring first. I've got a bit of ammo, which I'll just use. There's some actual. Oh, you what? It's not even. I'll find him. I'm out. Bounce. Shop. Might as well see if we get a spirit high out of it. Although it's going to cost us one on the way here. Because these things are going to stop and shoot me and I'm not going to be prepared for it. And everything will be bad. Okay, we survived. Oh, we can't get in. Of course we can't get in. What are you doing? This run has had the weirdest RNG Jesus I've ever seen. Every single room has been slightly disadvantageous. All the good pickups have turned out to be bad. Which is weird. I mean, I'm glad we got Dark Judas at the beginning. Let's double our damage to now just two damage. I'm gonna go to the shop. I can attempt to just open these chests. It's the worst could happen. Oh, that's why I worked from the shop anyway. Sorted. Alright, let's go. Now I have to fight Mom without dying. Uh, bring it on, I guess. What happens if you re-roll the Polaroid? Everyone's salty with you for not making it to the chest, I guess. Come on now. <laughs> Oh, right here. That's really helpful. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, damage is okay. We didn't get an arcade and we didn't get a blood bank in the arcade. Which super sucks because. Uh, this shadow, though? What's happening here? Uh, now we didn't manage to make the most of bloody lust, which is exactly why you want to see an arcade on the mom's floor. But... Can't win them all. No seems to drop in here, so we can't get Mom to stamp on it and give us free HP. We're not gonna get us a boss for us, but maybe we get an angel room for the first time in our natural born line. This is why it's so frustrating trying to get these angel room items. Even if you deserve an angel room, you still don't fucking get it. Another one! And I don't even know what it is, so I don't want it. I could have had such an advantage on this run, but I specifically chose not to take anything from these guys. Yay. I suppose we can open a chest. Maybe get a double key room, re-roll everything. Finally get some good shit. Can you re-roll into an item you've never found? It'd be very anticlimactic. You fucking what though? Very anticlimactic to uh, re-roll into <laughs> the uh, crown of light after all this heartache. I'm gonna use my every opportunity to take damage constructively get some damage done. Oh, that's one. Oh, there's another one. Not every opportunity, apparently, because that's far too much. I could get the blood bank. Blood bank from the blood bank. If we judiciously play it, it's not like we're going to do the hush on this run. Or are you meant to? Keep it. Yeah, put a bomb here and run away because we're just, yeah, very explosive. Oh, it's very hot over there, which I can't have. Which is why we can't have nice things. Blood bags. Blood bags also a speed upgrade. I don't feel like I need, but I'm sure it would be very valuable if it turned up. Nothing here. Oh, how do we win this run? Just don't get hit. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, what is this? It's already shooting me. I'm not even in the room. What a jackass. I'm going to die. Need my HP now. Where's my red heart? Look how much damage we're doing though. We just need to not take too much. So wait for a red heart to drop. Or a spirit heart. Spirit heart will be fine too. Ah, those things. That was very frustrating. Every single room that should have been an angel room is a devil room. I didn't take any deals with the devil. I'm trying, people. I'm trying. It's trying. It's very trying. Well, thank you for watching this episode where people walked in in the middle. Your hair's a different colour. Yeah, it's pink and purple now. It's pink and purple now. I'll see you next time. Maybe. I quit.